Um, Are you finding now, though, guys, when you try and ring places to get service history information, a lot of the time they put the service history under the person rather than the car, and then it's all GDPR. I can't give you any information because of GDPR. Because they've put in their systems, it's like Joe Bloggs, then it's the car's reg and all its history. Or they want the V5 in your own name. I'm (laughs) finding that quite a bit. Yeah, I think we're struggling a bit with uh, with that. Uh, quite often, like the books will turn up and there's they're stamped but they're not dated, or you're trying to get a date, and, tr- yeah. and that can be a bit of a pain because carriages do seem to be becoming less and less helpful. And they just put it on the I GDPR, went to Ford the other give day. it the old GDPR thing and brush it away. Exactly. I went to Ford the other day and I had a, a local dealership car had supplied the car. A dealership had supplied the car. Local Ford dealership, 100 percent all their stamps. I rang them up and said. There's one missing. The odds on are you did it because you've done every other one. Yeah, we did do it. I said, right, if I bring the book in, can I get a stamp on? And the guy said, yeah. Turned up at the desk and the lady looked at it and said, I wasn't here when that service was done, so I'm not sure I can stamp the book for you. I'm like, is that the one you, uh, is that you sold to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And luckily I got another guy out from out the back to come in um, and he went, no, it doesn't matter that you weren't here. It, um, it was still serviced by us. So, yeah, then they stamped it's it. Like, uh, it's like War and Peace, the service history on that one. It's like, uh, yeah, I told you it was a good one, though. It, was a, it's a, it certainly looked after that, wasn't it? Certainly yeah, looked after. Yeah. It, that's one thing we do miss now, or I miss as an auctioneer now. I remember sort of eight, nine, ten years ago, you get a, you get a good service system for a car, or you've got you've got a, a folder full of receipts and bills, and you you, you hold it on the rostrum and you sort of wave it yeah. about and look at the history for that car. A lot of it's digital now, isn't it? Yeah. So you, yeah. you don't have the same effect just waving a bit of paper. Well, I went to get a Mazda one the other day because I bought a Mazda two. Um, yeah. And it said no service history. I was like, no problem. I know. I download the app to my phone. I put the VIN number in. I get a service history. So download the app, put the VIN number, it always worked before this, I mean, you're not the registered owner of this vehicle, you need the password. Yeah, and it's like, what? That, never, had that, never had that before. But no, like yeah. you say, the thing with it as well is a lot of dealerships now don't want to take the risk with no. GDPR, so they'll take a service to and just shred it. Yeah. And all you get is what is in the book. You could have, you could have had, everybody, like, like you say, love to see that bit of paperwork, but you know, you hear yeah. about dealers getting well, fined for... It did take my dad about an hour to go through that yesterday. <laughs> Delete all the customers' details off all them because you obviously can be. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, yeah. you know what? While we're, while we're talking about GDPR and this whole like service history and the old customers' details and everything on it, it's worth mentioning. Um, I noticed on I heard it on um, the Car Dealer Magazine podcast and on his video, James Baggett, the kind of owner, ch- uh, editor in chief of Car Dealer Magazine, is actually coming on this podcast in about a month's time. Oh, nice. But he had. Um, he had a situation where he'd handed on all the service history and everything to a customer. They, that customer didn't necessarily believe that he'd had certain things fixed on it, which he did have fixed. Um, so they actually took the customer's details, looked them up on Facebook, contacted them and say, when you sold this car, did it have problems? Um, you know, when you sold it to his company, the Clever Car Collection, did it have problems that you told him about and was it discounted for that reason? So the, obviously the person that he'd bought it from messaged him and was like, why are these people contacting me and whatever? I think she went back to them and said, no, there wasn't any problems. But it's like, she sort of said, I don't really like um, that they've contacted me. So he was in a bit of a panic, spoke to logistics and was like, this is what's happened. And, you know, this is car number three out of 35 I've sold. And um, logistics said, don't worry, there is no obligation to redact the customer's details whatsoever. If they've given it to you, That's my you point, are yeah. well with you're oh, really? well within your right to pass it on completely with their information or whatever because it's it's relevant and important to that car. So there's a genuine yeah. interest in passing it on with the car. So for dealers out there like me, I've got those little roller things to redact. Yeah, them. Have, yeah. you know, sometimes we do them, sometimes we don't. You don't have to. If you want to, oh. great. Oh, but bro. there is no I, legal I do ask the, If I take a car in myself, part exchange or I buy it locally I do ask them I say look here's all your service history obviously the next owner would love to see that are you happy for me to pass it on uh, I should probably get that in writing shouldn't I but yeah I do I do tend to do that but I've spent loads of time with a Stanley Blade cutting out all the windows I didn't do it for Theo obviously but I was going to cut I spent, I spent ages doing that as well yeah. thinking oh my god I don't because I had someone kick off because a Bluetooth a number was left in a Bluetooth system once and someone was trying to set it up and accidentally rang the number on there previously and this person kicked right off People are strange. It used to be like, well, I was going to say, that's the kind of rumour mill starts, doesn't it? When the whole GDPR thing came in, people were like, you're going to get fined for passing information. You can't do this, you can't do that. And I still think if someone phoned up and said, have the service history under someone's name, you couldn't 
pass out that information because I guess that wouldn't necessarily be directly, you know, yeah. relevant. You'd be handing out someone's address for no reason. But if it comes with the car, then it's completely fine. Yeah. You know, so we won't. We've had some crackers in the past anymore. where you've where we've had cars arrive, say with little history, and you you know you'd write to the former keeper, and you'd you'd ask them for some history, and they'd send you you know you'd get a great story about where the car came from, how they acquired it, what's been done to it. Um, obviously, you're not, yeah. to, you're not allowed to do all that anymore. No. no. Well, I don't know if you are on. Yeah, I don't know about that. Whether you're still allowed to do that or not, but. Um, well, the, I, I mean, it yeah. would I think most people are be all right, but yeah, I mean, personally, if some I'd sold my car to someone and then someone else phoned me up and was like, "What's this?" What I'd just be like, "Oh." Yeah, go ahead. Me. I, I wouldn't be too chuffed. So, yeah, I, can, I can understand. But yeah, it's, it's good to know that all the ones where we haven't redacted them, where we thought we should have done, were all right anyway. So Yeah, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a valid point, isn't it? If someone had, voluntarily hands all that paperwork over with their car, they're, they're saying yeah, it's that's... okay for it to go with the vehicle, aren't they? What's crazy is I've had sort of comments on videos before, or someone spoke to me, I can't remember, and they said they'd sort of taken in their their car to part exchange it was their pride and joy and they had all these stacks of paperwork and they gave it back to them all the service history he's like, yeah. you know that he's like no we're just going to send it to auction he's like yeah but it's going to be worth more with the service history and they're like no we can't GDPR and we don't really want it it won't make any difference wow. and they've handed it back it's like what yeah why would you do that's that that's crazy 